guys and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at the best tweaks for the iOS 12 jailbreak. Also be sure to take a look at the description down below for all of the available sources. So let's get started! So it is finally here. The iOS 12 Uncover Jailbreak has been released. We have Cydia and the full jailbreak. Although this is a beta, it is still very good and I'm now going to go over some tweaks that you should install on your device. The first tweak that we are going to take a look at is called Alkaline. So taking a look at the top right hand corner of my screen, what Alkaline does is allow you to customize the battery indicator on your device. Taking a look into our settings, we can see that we have three customizable themes at the moment, but more is soon to come. The next tweak we're going to look at is called BioProtect XS. Now this works on devices with both Touch ID as well as Face ID. What this tweak does is allow you to block certain settings and applications on your device, only making them accessible with your Bio authentication. So if we take a look here, I've uh, put BioProtect on the Instagram app. Now it will only open if it has my Touch ID authentication. The next tweak we're going to look at is called Boxy 3. Boxy allows you to add a custom home screen layout to your device. So as we can see, I have my icon sorted in a unique way that is not the same as the stock iOS. Now to adjust this, all we have to do is tap with two fingers on the home screen and an adjustment window will pop up. Overall, Boxy is a unique tweak and it adds a really cool custom look to your device. Now the next tweak we're going to look at is probably the first one I install every time I jailbreak. It is called Cylinder, formerly known as Barrel. And what this allows you to do is add unique uh, transitions to your home screen layout. So if we take a look here, every time I swipe left and right between my home screens, there is a unique transition. The next tweak we're going to look at is called Floaty Dock. What Floaty Dock does is add a dock similar to the one on the iPhone 10 devices as well as the iPad with the rounded edges. With Floaty Dock, you're allowed to add multiple icons to your dock as well as pull it up in applications just as seen on the iPad devices. The next tweak we're going to look at is called Haptic Keyboard. Just as it says in the name, the keyboard adds a haptic vibration every time you type and it is a really cool feeling when typing on the device. The next tweak we're going to look at is one that I use quite often when my device glitches or there's some errors that I want to respring. It's called Pull to Respring. How this tweak works is hopping into our settings app and pulling down from the top will prompt us to respring our device. Now I have authentication on that, but once I input my credentials, my device will respring. The next tweak we're going to be looking at is called Snowboard. Now this is a themes installer similar to Winterboard and Animo. And the theme that I have active on my device is called Sential Basic. It is a really cool theme, very clean and complements my device well. The next tweak we're going to be looking at is called Video HUD. Looking at the top right, what this does is create a minimal and clean looking volume slider. And the last tweak we'll be taking a look at is called Zeppelin. What Zeppelin allows you to do is add a custom logo or carrier text to your device. So that's it for this video. Be sure to comment, like, share and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching!